Um, so the topic for my talk today, um, I just wanted to give a brief introduction to one of the demos I actually had in the room outside. Um, and that, uh, that kit is called the Aeon UpSquared RoboMaker Dev Kit. So I'll dive right into it. Um, I just wanted to say I met a lot of people outside and it, it was really interesting because, you know, uh, I think everyone here is at a, a slightly different point in their uh, robotics developer experience. So I talked to some people who, you know, they're, they're, they're building industrial robots today, and I talked to some people who, you know, have never built a robot before, and they're just here to learn about it. So, um, you know, I think that's great. Um, and, but I, I wanted to sort of start and ground everyone with the opportunity that is out there today um, in mobile robotics. Um, so this is from an ABI research report saying that there will be a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 63.2% for commercial robots in manufacturing between 2017 and 2027, with millions of platforms across the globe. Um, so this number is huge, and um, for, for those of you who are involved in mobile robotics today, this should be extremely exciting uh, for the market opportunity that's there today. And I can tell you that Intel is really excited, and you know that's why I'm here. Um, so uh, for those of you who are building robots, um, you know if you want to build the best products, you start with the best ingredients. So I wanted to talk about some of the ingredients that go into robots today. So we start off with robot control. This is a, a software control of your robot. Every robot will need some control. And um, you know, most, if, if you want an autonomous robot, you'll need some sort of 3D vision. Of course, you'll need a CPU. Um, and a lot of customers today, or a lot of uh, robot builders today, are looking to add vision accelerators and AI inference software to their robotics packages. So let's kind of fill out this table a little bit. We can start with, um, Cam gave a talk earlier about ROS and, and using that in AWS. So ROS is the most common um, uh, software or middleware platform used for robot control. And now for everything else I have in the slide, um, you can find all of this um, in Intel. We're, we're a one-stop shop for um, you know, really all you need for, for AI and um, in robotics. So if, if you're looking to add uh, 3D vision into your robot, uh, Intel offers uh, real sense cameras. And I hope everyone got a chance to see some of the demos outside of the 3D uh, cameras that we have coming from RealSense. Now, I'm sure everybody knows that Intel builds CPUs, um, but the, the thing that I wanted to note here is we have a wide variety of CPUs at different powers and at different price points. So um, the, uh, the, the one that I showed outside earlier that was an Atom-based CPU, but um, you know, if you go with Intel, you can scale to a Core i7 or you could go higher to a Xeon. Um, if you're looking to add vision acceleration for neural networks or, or vision applications, uh, Intel offers uh, the Movidius Myriad X vision processing unit. And if, if, if you're looking to um, get started with AI or inference software, Intel offers OpenVINO. So we're really a, a, a great company that kind of combines everything together with you know, the whole package with what you need to, to build your robots. Which leads me to um, this kit that I was showing outside in the demo room earlier. Uh, this is called the Aeon UpSquared RoboMaker Dev Kit. And it has all of the ingredients that I just showed on the previous slide. Um, so this is running ROS. This is free and open source, uh, ro the robotic control software. It's running OpenVINO. And it's fully compatible with um, everything that Cam just showed in his previous slide with uh, AWS RoboMaker. Um, and then the hardware that comes with this kit, uh, it comes with a Movidius Myriad X uh, vision processing unit. Uh, it comes with an Atom-based CPU. And um, it, this kit actually comes with a, a RealSense camera. And you can get this whole bundle together as only $699, which I think is a great price because just the camera alone is like $200. So um, this is at a low pr price point. And for those of you who are you know, maybe just looking to get started in robotics or just looking for a, a quick and inexpensive way to build your first robot, I think this is a really good place to start. Um, so you may be wondering, okay, this isn't really a robot, right? This is just a computer board. So um, if, if you're looking to add this to a robot, if, if you already have a robot that you're developing on today, all you need to do is plug this, um, the, this board into your, uh, you know, your robot today, the, the chassis, motor, wheels, the mechanical components. And then once you put that together, then you actually have 
um, a, a fully uh, moving robot. And let's see, I, I have one here today. Um, this is a really small robot, um, but it is fully capable. So this robot has all of the autonomous navigation and mapping features that most industrial uh, robot makers are looking to add in their robotics kits. Um, and then another thing I, I wanted to mention is that uh, this is a developer kit. This, you know, this is made to be developed on. So um, everyone doing robots, the, every robot is different, right? They have uh, different hardware and different capabilities. And this kit is designed to be modular and expandable. So if you're looking to add uh, GPS, for example, or an LTE card, um, all of that can be done uh, with this kit. Another popular add-on is, for those of you familiar with the NCS2 or Neural Compute Stick, um, you can add vision, uh, additional vision acceleration onto this kit, depending on what kind of uh, 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 performance you're looking for. So what, we're, um, what this kit allows you to do is um, accelerate your development. So you can start with, with just the board or the kit that I showed earlier. You can start uh, prototyping that kit with just a, a quick um, uh, and small robot that I've shown you today. And then after you have everything working, you can actually deploy this to your uh, industrial robot or uh, whatever robot application you're looking to build. And um, you know, by, by using this kit, will accelerate or drastically cut down on the amount of development time that you will need. So um, I just wanted to tell a quick story about one of our customers, um, Cognitim. They're um, an ATV robot or like an outdoor off-road robot out of Israel. And they had a, a really um, compelling customer story um, when they were able to tell us all that they were able to accomplish in just a single day's work. So basically in the morning, uh, uh, they, they unboxed the, the, the board, they installed the OS, installed the included drivers, installed ROS, installed OpenVINO. That was half the work, so it's kind of a slow morning, so, so bring your coffee, this is the, the easy part. Um, and then in the afternoon, um, in, in four hours, they were able to um, integrate this kit with the robot that I showed in the previous slide. Uh, they were able to optimize uh, the load balancing on, on the hardware. Uh, they, they tested and ran some of the uh, open source, open Vino libraries today. And then they added their own customization on top of that. And in a single day, they actually you know, went from taking this board and fully incorporating it into their robot to add full navigation in, in a single day. Um, which I think is amazing. And um, this is one of the things they told us, was um, that having a production-ready Intel board with GPIO, USB 3, PCI Express, all integrated with a Movidius and a depth camera, uh, enabled them to jump from low-level control of the robot to a fully autonomous system with cloud connectivity with a day of work. So I think this is a really amazing story for those of you who are developing robots today, what you can accomplish in a short amount of time and the amount of uh, development costs that can be saved by going with uh, one of these kits. So I, I have a, a video actually from, from Cognitim. This is just straight from YouTube. Okay, yeah, so that was the, the Cognitim robot. So I was talking to those guys about, you know, like, oh, so what are you guys using this for? And they, they said, oh, sorry about that. There are some interesting applications. This robot actually has GPS built into it, and they, they said they're using it for agriculture, that they can send this out to a field. They could, I think it had a 150 kilogram payload, so they could load it up with a lot of heavy stuff, and then they could just send it to a destination so it could carry you know, what, whatever they're growing in the field, they could bring it back to a destination. They were also using this for some remote solar panel cleaning where this would go out. There, there's actually, this would deploy other robots, like either um, a drone or some other type of robot that would go and clean solar panels. Um, but it's it, uh, full autonomy, um, outdoor navigation added into this robot. 
So, <laughs> okay, so I think um, that was all that I had today. So um, I'm gonna be passing the talk off to Philip, who will be talking a, a lot more about um, some of those ingredients that um, are in this kit, especially RealSense. Um, if, if there's any questions, I'd be happy to ask them or now, or um, if, if they might be um, more about the RealSense or depth, then maybe we could just answer them together at the end.